want to take the opportunity to thank everybody that uh, that sent me messages in the last 48 hours. Um, I didn't, a lot of people, I didn't respond back to you guys, but there was a reason for it. Uh, but all my friends, all the ex-teammates and present teammates, uh, I really appreciate the kind words. Um, uh, this is a, it's a great day for me. Uh, I'm excited uh, to start a new chapter in my hockey career. Um, you know, this is something I've been thinking about uh, for a long time, and uh, this is a great opportunity that the St. Louis Blues organization, you know, Todd Stillman and Doug Armstrong, that are giving me and trusting me into doing. Uh, in the same token, this is going to be something that is going to be as close as a hockey player. Uh, I'll be able to be involved uh, with the hockey operation and then being close with the guys and the coaches and, and the managers. So um, this is going to be a great challenge for me. Um, no way you want to hear about my career a little bit. Um, you know, this uh, it was a, a good decision for me to make. Uh, it's been uh, something that, um, you know, throughout the year, um, you know, July 1st came and didn't get really uh, many opportunities. Uh, I was a little selective on teams that I wanted to, to play for. And, um, you know, time went by and I was really thinking about retirement. You know, uh, it came November. Um, like for me, it was, you know, uh, I wanted to play, but I knew the op opportunity would have been a little harder. And finally, I got a phone call. One of the teams that were on top of my list was the St. Louis Blues. And again, I jumped in right away, had a, had a blast. Uh, for the month and a half I was here, uh, was treated with uh, as, as much respect as anybody else. And they really took me in, in and their family. And uh, for me, that meant a lot. And um, when, when the, the goalie's situation got healthy, and I think everybody has to understand that there was no promises from, from the organization towards me. Uh, you know, they have two solid goaltender. And so for me to come in and help them out was a great opportunity for me to get back in the game and see if I still like it and still uh, I can, still can play the game. And uh, both, both questions were answered. You know, I know I can play and I, I know I still can have fun with this game. And, uh, you know, and for me, uh, just the fact that they got healthy was harder for me to, to stay around. You know, I'm a competitive guy. It was hard to stay on the sideline. And that's why, you know, I, I decided to take my, uh, you know, and take my retirement. So anyway. Thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, I'd love to answer some questions. If anybody had a question, I'm sure there's a couple of New Jersey questions will be out there. There's, uh, we have two people with microphones, so raise your hand and we'll get you microphones if you have questions, please. Marty, when you took the leave of absence, and obviously you had already been contemplating retirement before then, what made your mind up that uh, now is the time to retire? Well, uh, just because of the goalie situation that, uh, you know, we, we had conversation, you know, I think with uh, Army and I, we, we had a lot of discussion about, you know, what was going to happen in the future and, and they were going to go with the two goalies and then they wanted me to be around and they welcomed me to stay around and, you know, at one point I just felt in the way a little bit, you know, like I was making fun of these, you know, I was just making fun of, <laughs> to me actually, they were saying it. It was almost dangerous for me in practice. I did not run over by the line rushes. <laughs> I was just in the way as a third goalie. So, um, yeah, and again, that's what kind of made me say, well, let's take a step back. Let's move away from the game a little bit. And, you know, they were, they were kindly, uh, you know, they gave me that, that, that space. And, uh, you know, I talked to my family with my wife and, you know, my mom and all, all the people around me. And, uh, you know, we came to that conclusion. This is, you know, this is a great opportunity to have to start some, something new. And I'm really excited. Marty, you said when you got here that you weren't ready to quit because you, you wanted closure. You wanted to find closure for your career. Do you feel like you found that here in St. Louis? You know what? My, the, the, the thing about hockey for me, it's, uh, you know, I'm really competitive, but I, lo I love to have fun. And um, I'm leaving the game with a big smile on my face. You know, and I don't think if I would have done that last year, it would have been the case. First of all, what do you hope to achieve in your position? as far as moving your hockey career, post-hockey career forward in the Blues organization? And second to that, do you have a sense of what time frame you wish to commit, knowing that your former GM in New Jersey has already made it clear that there's a place for you whenever you choose to, should you choose to go? Yeah, well, you know, for, for me, it's all about learning. You know, I think uh, I've been on the player side for so long, and uh, I know that side pretty well. Uh, but you know the management part is, is something that, that I'm going to learn, and I'm, I'm excited to have 
you know, solid people around this organization that have been around, uh, you know, management part uh, for a long time. And you know, having Ken Hitchcock as a coach that I know real well. So I think the line of communication with the people is going to be great. And I think it's, it's for me, it's a valuable thing to do in, in my first year outside of hockey to really try to flourish and, and, and see if I'm going to like this. And the second part, you know, I'm committed to stay here through uh, the end of the season, hopefully as long as we can, that's for sure. Um, and there's no commitment uh, one way or the other um, that uh, I'll go back to New Jersey or stay in St. Louis. I just want to make sure I, uh, I enjoy uh, what I'm going to do and I'll make a decision uh, when it's time.